How was your experience riding in Vivian? How about that? Was it good? It was so fabulous. Oh, you're bad on the camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So we made our deadline. Um, it is Wednesday the 26th because I told Keith the 27th. And I think you thought it was Wednesday, right? Yeah. And I thought it was Thursday. So we, we got this thing. Um, we got it a day early ready, but the boys and I spent um, two days in one day of work. Um, Colin and Alex stayed all night. I went home for a couple hours to get sleep. Um, the, I think the truck out of the box way better it's kind of what we expected um kind of it, it the best analogy for something like this is that uh if you wanted to cook something and you had really a really good recipe and you got all the right ingredients and you followed all the instructions then kind of no matter what it's gonna be relatively good right out of the box and i think that's what we got with this so there was a big strong team effort uh, all the guys are back behind you here and um everybody made sacrifices and put time in okay the last time keith and i did this I botched the first date, shit the bed on that one. And then um, we came back and had the car kind of working, but it was still like, we had to do some stuff. And I guess we can say now that we, no, should we? We had to do trade secrets to make that other one work right. But now we have 70 gallons of fuel back there. Um, up travel, all the stuff. Do you want to talk about this thing at all? I know you don't want to, but will you please talk about this thing for a second? Just come over to me, please. I know, I know. And functionality wise, the reason that I have combed hair is because I have broccoli that lives on top of my 17 head. So if I don't do that, this is what you have to look at and you don't want to do that. So I'll just functionally, the broccoli delete kit is the good thing to do. Yeah. So, so what about the truck? It works good. You guys did a good job on everything and all, like you were saying, the recipe was there at the, to get the end result and it works really good. Uh, Worked really good out of the box and just one spring change and a couple tube adjustments. Everything came together and it's a really nice, comfortable pre-runner that's predictable, planted. Um, yeah, Eric should have a lot of fun with it. What would you change right now? What's your, what's your con on this thing? Driveline vibration. I mean, the U-joints will hopefully help that. But I mean, honestly, the thing needs more power. Yeah. That's what's up. Uh, <laughs> sick. <laughs> I, I took Colin for a ride earlier and it was just like a test ride. I didn't hit me and I just went like down by the washes and stuff. And, yeah. and then I like stopped to turn around and I like, I was like, how was that? And he's like, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> he's all stoked. And then we turned around and that's, that's the thing is it, it, it doesn't inspire fear. It inspires confidence to, to drive it. So like, you know what it's going to happen and then you can kind of get out of stuff. I like, had to make like, when it started making a right way at the end, I hesitated for a second to like slow and brake and then I like, kind of blew the turn and just took it slow. But that, that was only my own judgment call, you know, like seems good. Uh, Eric took a couple passes in it. I think Eric just needs to be more comfortable. And you know, obviously it's the biggest investment is Eric's investment in the thing. I mean, we put time into it, but it's a kind of paid time. And um, Eric's, you know, this is a, a big machine to have so i don't think he wants to just get out and be stupid in it and it's it was nice to see him thinking about stuff and being more cautious i'd rather be with someone that's more cautious than just trying to go for it out of like thinking yeah. they have it and being egotistical like that and he was used to the tundra too where yeah. he could do that but now he's gonna have to relearn the thing and go through its paces and get seat time and feel it out but you know yeah. we could increase rear sway bar and that's gonna build some confidence but uh yeah i mean it's night and day different than the Tundra. Yep, yep. 
it's shorter it just everything works better the, like my biggest concern not so much suspension wise but just like uh vehicle wise was the fuel tank because it's not a cell and i'm like oh my gosh i hope there's not enough like support in the chassis to like hold it so it's not like blowing stuff out and just that it's going to be sealed we made custom gaskets for the pickup and the return and the fill and the breather and all that stuff and just hoping everything didn't like leak or do weird stuff and that all checked out um all the wirings checked out have a breather for the power steering that just needs to be rerouted so it's not you know squirting places um but other than that we're good eric's gonna take this thing i think we're gonna do is the boys are tired i was gonna try to get tomorrow off um for everybody but i think we have to just get this ready and then we'll figure it out after that so um that's it we did it we made it proud of all the guys get to them really quick so they can all wave grandpa <laughs> there you go so um it was a huge team effort all of us have been on this thing for weeks everybody's done their own job i think everybody's been learning stuff that's the huge plus is like instead of just building stuff we talked about it before but um putting things together assembly plumbing and also like no major issues today no no major issues um no like nothing catastrophic nothing nothing so we're good um i think just like even in building stuff assembly some of the details like where we were putting certain things or having to get to hardware whooped our ass a little bit colin and i both kind of had frustrations and the only thing there's nothing wrong with that it's just like about doing it better next time Help us grow the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, show this stuff, watch the stuff, thumbs down, thumbs up, who cares? Thank you, bye.